Hello everyone, welcome to this next episode, the new one. We're going to be talking about a couple of search commands that might do you well as a system administrator or site reliability engineer or just if you're a hobbyist Linux user. So without further ado, let's get into these three commands. And the first one is going to be which. Which just shows... It's showing you which process it, that you're looking for. It's showing you... So which is here to look through all of your file systems looking for a process of what you're looking for. <laughs> that's, how, that, that's kind of funny. Play on words, but... One command that we use often is ls for list. So if we type in which ls, it shows us where the binary where like the command is written. So this is where the command is and we can go ahead and concatenate that command just to see what it looks like. So that doesn't exist. Oh, because there's no E in user. Okay. All right, so here's kind of like the code which isn't human readable and a lot of these symbols aren't like compatible with this program that I'm looking at so we can't really edit the source code but anyways as you can see we could do which with a lot of different commands too like pwd for print working directory we could do which for cd for change directory we could do which for which <laughs> we could which itself the second command is a little bit more elaborate. It's called where is, and it shows us a, a couple extra things. So which only showed us where the command is located in the binaries, but where is ls shows us what we're looking for, then it shows us the binaries, and then it shows us where the man page is. And of course, we can always type in man where is to find out more options that we can use with this command if we want to look for different kind of things or if we want to look for just manuals, look for just binaries, if we want to look for the sources of, if we want to look for the version. So let's try that. Where is dash v ls? Bad usage, okay. Where is dash v htop? Okay, so that's not how I use it. We can read through the manual to do that. That's a good homework for you if you would like to figure out how to properly use that. Um, another one is locate. That's our third search option. Now, locate is a lot more in-depth and complicated than which and where is and that's because which and where is are both just searches through the file directory or the file systems of your Linux whereas locate searches its own database of what it knows about and essentially it's like a it has its own records of everything that's in your Linux system so if you just installed something like five minutes ago, locate might not know about it yet because it needs to re-index itself and it kind of runs in a schedule to re-index itself or re-synchronize its database, update it with that update db command. And then that update db command that it runs is just going to create a new snapshot of all the things that it knows about in your file system. And now if we do locate which then it shows us everything that it knows about which. Then if we do locate where is, it shows us everything about where is. But now if we type in locate A, for example, it's going to give us, get ready, because this is going to be a lot. Yeah. It's going to keep going because it's giving us every file that it knows about in our whole system that has the letter A in it. So that's a lot of files. So what we could do here is do locate A, grep, bash, 
which still gives us a lot of stuff, but not quite as much stuff. We can even do locate, grep, bash. Can we grep twice? Let's check it out. Menu. Yep. So we just <laughs> we just grepped into a grep. And by the way, to put this further, we can put this into a new file about menu bash.txt. New Okay, so that's pretty fun, and that shows you how to use grep and how to use the different commands together, how to output that into a new file. Make sure that you look at the manual page for each of these, man which, man where is, man locate, and I think there's another one called find. It might be a third-party package. I think I remember using a find one time, but... Anyways, that's something for you to play around with. Try different commands with which, where is, try a locate command, try to mess around with the outputs, the inputs and the outputs. You can, you can figure out where is a version as I was not able to figure it out in this video, but... So a little bit of homework for you, gonna be a little bit fun, and I'll see you guys on the next lesson.